Freilings Pass is a 10 km long high altitude gravel pass between the towns of Dordrecht in the southwest and Barkley East in the northeast, and it also serves as the main access road to the small hamlet of Rosseau, which lies at the foot of the pass in the south. The pass rises or falls through 431 meters of altitude to summit at 1,956 meters, which is well above the snow line. It's frequently covered in snow during the winter months. In snow or very wet weather, we recommend a four-wheel drive vehicle on this pass. In fair weather, it's quite suitable for any vehicle. Although the pass has a big altitude variance, the average gradient of 1 in 23 is fairly easy going. We filmed this pass from north to south. The northern start is at a neck in the mountains. Stop at the 1,956 meter high summit and savor the sweeping views on offer. From this point one can virtually see for 40 kilometers over faraway mountain ridges and thousands of acres of grassy hills split by many streams and rivers. Outside the main summer season, it's often quite windy and cold at this viewpoint, so make sure you have warm clothing handy. The snack at the top of the pass is known as Swartnek for the distinctly black-colored rock strata which is visible from here. From the summit point, the road swings away to the west in sympathy with the shape of the mountain. It descends at a fairly easy gradient of 1 in 16 and at the 1.4 km point swings through a big U-shaped bend of 160 degrees through a shallow ravine. This changes the heading into the southeast, but it quickly curls back into the southwest by a wide right-hand bend. At the 2.3 km point, a gravel road intersects from the right. Ignore this and continue on the R393. The gradient flattens out along this next stretch to around 1 in 30, and the driving is easy with views over vast pastures. The Hreling name is well known in this region, and there's a record of a young Christian Hreling having been murdered in the Zierberg Pass in 1811. The two sons of the murdered Hreling later farmed in the region near Indue and Barkley East, and there's a strong possibility that this Hreling's pass was named after one of these brothers. At the 3.8 km point, there's a sharp left-hand bend of 80 degrees. The gradient steepens again to around 1 in 15, and at the 4.4 km mark, the pass enters its more technical section with cuttings and steeper drop-offs, much more in keeping with the true mountain pass. The condition of the road remains good, but speed needs to be lowered, as the next 3 km are peppered with sharp corners. The first stream is crossed at the 4.8 km point via a very sharp left-hand bend, which changes the direction into the southwest. Hrelings Pass is one of many gravel road passes in the Eastern Cape, much sought after by adventure travelers. The area around Dordrecht and Barkley East is home to some of South Africa's most challenging gravel road passes. Adventure motorcyclists and four-wheel drive enthusiasts descend into this area to drive what has become known as the Big Eight. These include the Buster Footpath, Carlisle's Hook Sprite, Volunteer's Hook, London's Neck, Nordia's Neck, Otto Duplessis, Barkley Pass and the Jabez Pass. Two new passes have been added to form the Ben 10 Eco Challenge. The next bend is to the right and occurs at the 5.2 km mark and is much sharper than the previous one as the road heads back towards the mountain to cross the second transfer stream at the 5.4 km mark via a very sharp hairpin bend of 160 degrees where you should lower your speed to 20 km per hour. The road now straightens up and crosses the main river via a low-level concrete bridge. Up ahead the road can be seen heading through a natural neck and the road enters another series of sharp S-curves. Once you're through this section, the gradients ease off to between 1 in 20 and 1 in 30 and the rest of the pass is a relatively simple drive. Watch out for slow-moving farm vehicles as well as livestock on the road. At the 7.2 km point, adjacent to an intersection with a smaller farm road, there's a short sharp S-bend which can catch drivers unawares. At the 7.8 km point, the road curves gently into the west, following the contours of the mountain on your right, and then abruptly switches heading into the south at the 8.8 km mark, as the road remains on the ridge of the cliff with the Vosbank Sprate River on the right. The pass ends at the crossing of the confluence of the Vosbank Sprate and the Wilke Sprate rivers at the 9.8 km point. Continue for a further 3 km to arrive at the little village of Rousseau. 